All right, we are here on Radio Row, Super Bowl 57. It's the Chiefs and the Eagles set to square off. I'm here with Lisa Kearney. More ways to win, FanDuel TV, yeah. very exciting. And the, the thing that I think is, is hard for me when I think about this game is it's Patrick Mahomes. Like, the Eagles have so many advantages, but it's Patrick Mahomes. And you, from Kansas City, yeah. probably hard to be objective about this, but so, like, why, why would I not pick Patrick Mahomes? Could you have started this interview any better, Peter? <laughs> uh, he's done his homework, obviously. Um, you know what? That's what I tell everybody. Every every conversation that I have, and, and my guys on set right here, literally every show, I am like myself and, and one of our expert handicappers, Dave Weaver, he's also on the Chiefs. And um, not not just on the Chiefs to cover, but he's on the, uh, on the Chiefs to win it. Uh, so take him on the money line. But um, Patrick Mahomes... C continues to outdo himself when he's the best player in the league. The magic that we see come from him, and and I and I keep talking about this because he just talked about it on on Radio Row or on uh, uh, Super Bowl Media Day. Is you know he was asked about would you rather win a Super Bowl or would you rather lose a Super Bowl? He's done both. Mm -hmm. um, it, the more fresh one is the loss, and he said it, it, I would take nothing away from a Super Bowl win, of course, but the one that really stays with you is that Super Bowl loss. Yeah. So add that to what Patrick Mahomes is already doing, and that just happened two years ago where they only scored nine points, so it was on the off. Every the offense is exposed. Um, you know, I think give us the plus points. Give us all the negative energy. Give us all the smack talk. Let us have our quiet swagger and come in. And uh, Kansas City, I, I truly feel that Kansas City is going to get the job done against a very stacked Eagles team. They are so good top to bottom on both sides of the ball. It feels crazy to me Patrick Mahomes is an underdog. Yeah. I actually took, before the games last Sunday started, I have Chiefs over Eagles plus 480. Yeah. So I feel, I like, I'm like, do I, do I hedge? Do I hedge on the Eagles yeah. or do I let it ride? Let it ride. Let it ride. I, I mean, I'm, I, I was just asked, like, Lisa Kearney's best betting advice. And I'm like, man, don't bet with your heart. And here I am. I'm like, man, no, just let it ride. But, but like, when you stack it up, it, this is, I love these stats. I'm a big stats girl. Um, both teams, number one seeds. Both teams 16 and three in the regular season. Both teams scoring 586 points, I believe it was. They scored the exact yeah. number of points. Mm -hmm. Both teams, six pro bowlers, or all pros. Uh, both teams, a Kelsey brother. I mean, these both teams, when you when you put them side by side, they are so good. Now, after you get past the fact that they are um, so equal and they are so uh, similar in so many different ways, you you start nitpicking the different matchups, right? So Hassan Reddick going against, um, you know, our right tackle, who's a... a you know, everybody's like, okay, come on, Andrew Wiley, just just yeah. hang in there. You got this. Uh, you know, is Chris Jones going to be able to penetrate that offensive line and get to Jalen Hurts? That's going to be, I think, a big X factor in the game for Kansas City is Chris Jones and how he plays. And and that's the Kelsey that we're not talking about, Jason Kelsey, and that matchup with Chris Jones. Can can they get some pressure in there? So if if like the Super Bowl is fun because there's props for days, but like with FanDuel, you can always make all these wagers on all these games. So how do you how do you find the stuff that like really gets you excited here because like I'm going through I'm like there's so many options I'm a little overwhelmed I'm paralyzed by choice sometimes yeah well it's easy to be paralyzed by choice right and sometimes you can just go easy and just chalk 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 you're not getting the best odds but hey you know you have some skin in the game which is what makes it fun right so I say for you know the price of a Starbucks you can add a, an even bigger jolt to your Sundays and um, you know have a little game within the game within the game and then you're following whether tr Travis Kelsey has you know more than a, t a touchdown and a half or if you know Patrick Mahomes throws for more than 230 and a half yards or whatever it might be um, those different prop bets but I like to to go into what people aren't talking about because all the conversations this week are going to be about the spread and about the total and they should be absolutely um, and and you know talking about the money line bets that have been made the futures that you put down um, but I going back to Chris Jones I am so excited to see what he does 15 and a half sacks in the regular season fourth most in the league um, he is such a game changer and when you look back at the AFC Championship game, I just don't think Joe Burrow was ready. I don't think he was ready for what Chris Jones could do to him. And his pass rush success rate, 21.5% when he comes from the tackle position. No one talks about, I mean, that's like best in the league. No one talks about the fact that he's double teamed 69.2% on those plays. It's unheard of what this guy is doing. So yes, they have the best offensive line in the game, 
but they haven't seen Chris Jones yet, so I'm very excited to see how that matchup plays out. You mentioned the 15 and a half sacks. Almost all of them were drive enders or game enders too. We don't talk about defensive linemen as being clutch, but if there's a clutch defensive lineman in the game, it's Chris Jones. All right, I have to. 40 to one odds, by the way. 40 to one, Chris Jones on the FanDuel Sportsbook app for MVP. I like that, and and a non QB to win MVP. That you're always going to get yeah. some some juicy odds on that. I have to, because we know where you're coming from with the Chiefs. Tell me, what about the Eagles makes you most concerned? Hassan Reddick. He really does. Because of that weakness in that matchup there with Wiley. Um, you know, we've been exposed in that position before, but um, I have full confidence that Patrick's high ankle sprain, he's going to be able to manage it. We saw him running around. We saw him run for the first down and it to... to he would he would <laughs> to get the, to then absorb the roughing the passer penalty to then get the field goal. Um, but his ankle these two weeks it's going to be um, imperative that he's he gets it into the shape that we, he can run because I I really am worried about Hassan Reddick and I think um, you know they have all the um, fire that they need to know that they're going against the best quarterback in the game and they're sitting there going like mm, but we're the best in the game so watch me do what I'm going to do so that worries me a little bit that matchup. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a score in mind? So I actually think so. The total sitting at fifty and a half. Um, I've talked about, uh, and also like a little nugget that not many people are talking about. Carl Sheffers is the uh, head referee for this crew, and maybe you know what I'm going to say, but this is like his third or fourth Super Bowl. He was the head ref in the game against Tampa Bay two years ago in the Super Bowl when the Chiefs lost it. Uh, his crew, on average, throws just about sixteen flags per game, and that's more than one and a half times the other average crews throughout the regular season. So a lot of penalties could be coming. Who knows how that impacts points and plays called back or, or you know, push forward or however that, but I think it could be going under that 50 and a half um, just because I think the crew's going to be a little tic tac -y. All right, last thing here. You mentioned what Patrick Mahomes said about winning versus losing a Super Bowl. From a Chiefs fan perspective, yeah. what will stick with you more, another Chiefs win or another Chiefs loss? Another Chiefs win. Because I'm an optimist, so I'm like, it's okay, guys. I'm a mom of four kids. I'm like, it's okay, guys. You're going to get them. We'll be back. Don't worry. You know, I'm such an optimist and such a positive person that um, to be able to carry that torch of a Super Bowl win and to be able to say that we did it two out of the last four years with, um, you know, this young quarterback who's just 27 years old, which is crazy that he's doing what he's doing. And, um, you know, Travis Kelsey, I'd love to see him get another one. And, uh, you know, this team is just so great. Andy Reid is like the best. You just want to give him a big bear hug. So uh, a win would mean more to me than, uh, than, a, than a loss for sure.